Hey everyone, okay so before we get started, because this is one of those technical videos, if you find this helpful, please like it and share it. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey everyone, okay so today's going to be a fun old video. So if somebody said to me, Wayne, I'm going to give you two options. You can be wrinkle free for the rest of your life or you can get rid of these. I'd get rid of these. Now, I think I'm gonna say this right. I believe they're called mala bags, mila bags or mala bags and festoons. So this would be a good example of a festoon. They're just irritating vileness on the skin and they can make you look a bit tired and particularly with this background, it can be way more apparent as well. Now, if I had lighting above here and at other angles, I could give the illusion in this video that I didn't have them. But I don't do that because it's just not on. So what I'm going to do is show you how to conceal them as best as possible. Now you need to bear in mind that you're not going to eradicate them completely. What you're trying to do is draw attention away from them. You're trying to fill out the shadows. So let me show you if I dip my head down what and you can really see this one here. It's quite apparent. Now what we need to do is the shadow here, that's the area we need to highlight. If we highlight this shadow, it's going to flatten it out considerably. But if we highlight this area here, we're going to make it stand out even more. So you have to stay within the guidelines of the actual issue. So you want to start with a concealer and your goal here is to hit the bag, the actual shadow of the bag, if that makes sense. And it just flattens out the darkness under it, which is what you're trying to achieve. Now here, I need to apply the concealer right to the shadow to try and bring out the darkness. The goal is to reduce the darkness. If you go too far out, you're then going to create another problem. So you just hitting the actual shadow as best you can. And you're not going to completely eradicate them, but you will flatten the curve, so to speak, so that it looks more smooth than it did before. And with this side, so I can just very lightly conceal here, just to flatten out this section slightly. But with this side, so this side is much more apparent on me. So for here, I've got to start to bring the concealer on the shadowed part. And then you just kind of blend with your finger a little bit. Just see how that just kind of flattens out. Technically speaking, it's a very easy process. However, it can be time consuming, laborious, and of course disheartening to be dealing with this every single day. Trust me, I know I don't bother with it and as in I don't bother concealing it on a daily basis. I am very aware of it. It bothers me greatly. Now I have no interest in getting any fillers here to smooth this area out. I think that that can cause way more problems than it fixes. You would need somebody so skilled to be able to get the placement exactly right in each and every area and not overfill a festoon and therefore create another problem. So for me, I'm not going to deal with that. However, I will be honest with you. I am not against getting it dealt with. If there's a way of dealing with it where I don't have to go to sleep to get something done, I would be interested in it. They bother me that much. They really do. So I'm just going to once again, just go under this area. And you're just trying to flatten the curve so that it appears it appears smoother or more even color, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to hit 
just this section again just a little bit and I'm just going to hit the darkness here and then just pat it into place as best you can. Now the concealer does have to be lighter than your skin tone because it's you're trying to bring out a shadow so it does have to be lighter but don't go you know don't go white or anything like that and I'm just going to just do a touch more here and then just pat it in with your finger. Now you're never going to get it perfect, you really aren't, but you're trying to just smooth it as best you can. And it does look better than when I started. And these are just corrective measures. They are irritating. This is an irritating problem. It really is. Pat it, press it, set it with a little bit of powder so that it doesn't move for the rest of the day and go on with your day. If anybody knows any treatments for this area that are not fillers, and not Botox, Botox will not work here. Let me know, I would be interested in just dealing with these permanently, I truly would. But if you can't and you don't want to, there are ways of dealing with it, like I just showed you. Hope you found it helpful. Please like, subscribe, and of course share this video if you found it helpful. It would help me immensely, um, it really would. Thank you for your time, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all soon, bye bye.